Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Clash of Warriors semi-professional welterweight bout between on my left, Benjamin Dennis. And on my right, Craig Chester. Over to your referee, Danny Batten. Now it's the time for a welterweight contest. In the blue corner, Benjamin Dennis fighting out of tap or snap, Jim. In the red corner, Craig Chesters. And he's fighting out of Hyde MMA. Like all of the fights I've had so far, another ma well matched up fight, I think. Both with little experience, but both of them look athletic. Uh, this is often where you find the dark horses of MMA, though, because these uh, these guys might have a yeah might have an MMA debut, but they could bring with them to the uh, to the cage a record in there. You know, they're oh, holding onto the cage a bit there. Dennis did well to uh, recover from having his back. Looking for a chip. Oh, nice. Yes, Iron reversal by Dennis. And into half guard. That, that was very impressive because uh, Dennis actually had the underhooks there and uh, he was the, the opponent that got taken down. It was a good hit throw by Chester's. But cleverly reversed by uh, Dennis. Oh, it's a good scramble. Be use, using the cage wall to stand up. That's often a technique that proves very valuable. And a bit wild here, that head kick. Oh, did that do something there? Uh, Dennis Jones with uh, Owen, Owen Connery. Uh, so he's going to have good tie boxing. Definitely see the influence there. Good in score there. He needs, he needs to... He did well actually to defend that because I thought he needed to have the whizzer, but he, he managed to defend that single quite well. Good knee there by Dennis. He's got long legs on him, Dennis has. Those knees look quite devastating. Oh, it's been back and forth, both taking the advantage. Nice block there from Chester's for that front kick. I think Dennis seems to have the uh, slightly more technical striking, putting things better to better a little bit. Chester's is powerful, but absolutely, I've noticed. I think uh, Dennis seems to have a bit more range on the striking as well. Yeah. Dennis being a southpaw makes it difficult for anyone. It does indeed. There's not many southpaws at you know gyms these days, so it's very difficult when you come across one in the cage, and it's something that you can often overlook. Nice shoot, got went right under the punch, defending well. Oh, good balance by Dennis there. Absolutely, very cat-like. Now, now is he going to try and take the back? No. We see Chester securing the leg there. As long as he's got the leg of Dennis secured, that will make it difficult for him to pass the back. So that straight back to the knees. It's that tie that Dennis has been, been... Oh, he's got to take advantage of that. Whoa! Kick to the grounded opponent. Unfortunate there. I think that was just instinct, though. There's no malice in that. He just got a bit excited. Instinct does take over, and this is something that you do tend to see at the debut level because these guys aren't used to fighting to these rules. I know Dennis from around the circuit, and I know he's a nice guy. I know that, you know, that wouldn't have been intentional. Um, he was just in the heat of the moment. You can see straight over to his opponents try and offer his, uh, his apologies. Wonder if the referee's going to take a point. The ref's not taking a point, so. And I have Dennis ahead at the moment. 
Yeah, show a class there by Dennis. Touching gloves. I'm surprised that he seemed a little bit more tentative now, which is uh, a bit of a change from the frenetic pace of the first half of the round. Yeah, I will agree with that. The uh, the pace has slowed down somewhat. In both their range maybe a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. Both guys are clearly very athletic. So the conditioning and the, the pace shouldn't be a problem as I say that. Oh, swinging toe-to-toe. -to -toe. As we say that, it's almost as they can hear us. They step into a full-on toe-to-toe war. There were some swings there. If any of them are connected, it could have been good night for someone. Yeah, we see Chester's is also from Hyde MMA, which we did see his teammates uh, devastatingly um, knock out Simon Hull earlier. Nice couple of low kicks there from Dennis. Swinging again. Uh, we see that range again. I mean, Chester's is losing a little bit of a height advantage to uh, Dennis, and you can see it as he's coming in. There's he is getting picked off a little bit with the strikes. Come to the end of the round now. A left, a left eye kick connected there a little bit. 